Hello and welcome to my June 2020 Video Games Monthly Unboxing. I know I've been a bit slow getting to this box, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what's inside. So I think at this point everyone knows the gist of Video Games Monthly. You select your preferred set of systems as well as the tiered amount you want to receive, and each month you'll get a box of randomly picked games. Now I do want to highlight that you pay a premium for the service based on the games you get, but for me that premium is worth the sheer randomness of it all. I've once again decided to switch up the systems this month to kind of play more into that fun random part, and while I can appreciate the Gen 6 era of games, I think I'm more interested in getting and playing games way out of my radar. So for this month, I've gone with the Famicom, Super Famicom, the N64 as a failsafe just in case I can't get past any translation issues, and the 3DS because I was really curious on what they might send. So with that, enough blathering. Let's get to the unboxing. So as always, we have the documentation, which I'm going to try and get out now. And this basically just highlights the service. And uh, it looks like we got a one up again this month. So nice. It should be five games. Okay, our first game. Looks to be for the Famicom, and it is... I have no idea. A, uh, a tennis game where your opponent is an 80-foot woman. Uh, <laughs> or maybe you play, play as the, um, the creepy guy lurking off the court. I've, I have no idea. So for the Japanese games, I'll put a title box down below, as well as capture some footage to kind of highlight what the game actually is. So this has to be a tennis game, I'm sure. So next up, I think I felt another Famicom game in there, so I'll try and grab that next. And it is everybody's favorite game. <laughs> no clue. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, so once again, I'll have to pop this into the Retron and try it out. Uh, you know, I never looked at the back of this one. Okay, yeah, that, that doesn't really help me out there. So, I, I do like the colors of the Famicom games, they, they are definitely more interesting than the usual plain Jane um, NES cartridges that we get. I think I felt a couple more cartridges in there, so the, the fun continues. And our third game is the nail-bitingly horrific... D Top Gear Rally! <laughs> so, so the reason I was, uh, I'm, I'm laughing is because I was struggling to read that. Uh, in my mind, I think I was gearing up for another Japanese game. So not quite nail-bitingly horrific, or maybe it is, we'll have to find out. But yeah, never played this game. Wow, that is a blast from the past. <laughs> Poor Blockbuster, you guys really should have bought Netflix when you had the chance. So yeah, Top Gear Rally for the N64. Yeah, never played this game, but... Um, you know, fan of the show, well, the, the old version, not the new cast so much. But uh, hopefully this is a fun little racer. So next up is definitely a 3DS box game. And based on what I've seen on other VGM videos this month, I have a sneaking suspicion I know what it is. And it is, if I can get it, Sushi Striker, yep. Yeah. I've seen these pop up on other videos for this month. Uh, VGM probably had a surplus of these. So I've uh, I've never tried this out. I wonder if it's some sort of cooking mama or overcooked type game. And hey, it uh, definitely keeps in line with the Japanese theme of this box. Well, uh, except for Top Gear Rally, that is. Okay, and last up, I feel a cartridge and it's Definitely bigger than a Famicom game and an N64 game, so it has to be. This has to be a Super Famicom game. So I'm gonna guess and say that this is the the sequel to the wildly popular sci-fi game. <laughs> yeah, your your guess is as good as mine. Oh wait, there's some some English characters here. Jin Segeki Jo. I could be butchering that completely. Yep. Uh, no clue. <laughs> uh, another one to pop in the Retron and see. Yeah, this is this is absolutely a sci-fi game, I can tell. 
So yeah, this has been a, this has been a fun box to open, and for me, I think this is the best way to enjoy uh, video games monthly. I mean, hey, we've got everything from horrific races to sci-fi sequels, 80-foot female tennis games, <laughs> and you know what? The fun doesn't end here. I'm gonna cut the video here. Uh, fire up the Retron and see what these Japanese games really are. So unfortunately, 80 foot tennis didn't work and failed to load. But no worries there, I reached out to VGM and the last time I had an issue with the game, the customer service was pretty awesome and they did send me a replacement. However, I was able to emulate the game and it is in fact a tennis game called Namco Family Tennis. Although I hate to disappoint you, there are no giant opponents in the game. Next up was everybody's favourite game, which is actually called Obake no Kitaro Wan Wan Panic. Definitely butchered that. Now, most of you might know this game as Chubby Cherub for the NES. So in the NES version, you play as Cupid, but in the Japanese version, the main character is actually a ghost, which I think is much cooler. Initially, I thought this was some kind of baby chick, so clearly way off there. But as you can see, this is just a simple platform game. Now lastly, our sci-fi game is a mouthful, but let's give this a go. Daibaku Shou Jinsei Geki Jo Doki Doki Seishan Hen. <laughs> no idea if that's the correct pronunciation, and if I've offended any Japanese speakers, then I'm truly sorry. So that basically translates to Great Burst of Laughter Theatre Life, the Heart Pounding Adolescence Chapter. And this game is pretty fascinating, and if you didn't get what the game is from that translation, it's essentially the Japanese version of the Game of Life. So in a twist of fate, this is actually a sequel, and in the first game of the series, it carried the player from being an infant all the way to retirement, but in this game, it focuses on those formidable years of elementary school all the way to high school. I really wish I could play and understand this game, but unfortunately, it's heavily reliant on understanding Japanese, and there aren't any translation packs that I found for it. I did try using the camera in the Google Translator app, but it performed pretty poorly, so I won't be able to relive my adolescence quite yet. Well, there we go. This is definitely a more in-depth Video Games Monthly episode, but for me, it feels like the most fulfilling. Um, I'm definitely going to keep the Famicom and Super Famicom for next month's box, and I'm certainly looking forward to it. Till next time. Hey, thank you for watching, and absolutely leave me a comment below with your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like, checking out the rest of my channel, and subscribing for more. Thanks again, and take care.